Mm. I got to make sure that um, our sister is honored today. She also made her transition to be with the ancestors. And I, she's gone. She's not forgotten. And I also think that she didn't get enough flowers when she was here. I really don't. I think the NBA uh, eh, maybe could have did a little bit more to get her story out there and to keep her story uh, in the forefront. But I must admit, the only story I heard about her was from them. So the NBA, I mean. So uh, in honor of her life and legacy, I'm going to go ahead and share the story with you guys because she passed away and... Um, you know, we need to pay some homage to her because she was the first and only woman drafted by an NBA team. Very first. They call her the queen of basketball, Lucia Harris. She was only 66. And she played for Delta State before she was picked by the New Orleans Jazz in 1977. But turned them down because she was pregnant and feared that it was just a publicity stunt. Lucia Harris was inducted into the National Basketball Hall of Fame in 1992. She helped Delta State win three national championships from 1975 to 1977. The six foot three inch player also scored the first points in women's basketball history at the Olympics after the sport was added to the competition in 1976. She was chosen ahead of 33 men in the seventh round of the 1977 NBA draft. Later, she said she thought it was a publicity stunt and she didn't think that she was good enough. I mean, she wouldn't have been strong enough, but she could have played, you know, because the only time we're going to run into a problem is when, the, you know, if we don't get a jump on the rebound or just the physical strength itself. So, but most of us who played basketball, if we were any good, we played against guys. I mean, as a matter of fact, it was an insult if you had to play against uh, girls. So, uh, and if anybody, any woman hooper will tell you that. The guys made you tougher, and they made you, uh, you know, have to go for it. They made you have to take some hits down in the paint a little bit. And, um, you know, you actually um, learn how to be a little tougher, put it like that. Um, again, I played for uh, the technical, um, well, just put it like this. A lot of times when you are good and you a female, um, there's a lot of insecure guys, too, that can't stand you hitting buckets in their face um, because I was a victim of that and to the point where I had the whole team almost um, was going to jump on the guy because he hit me because he couldn't stop my jump shot. And this that's a true story. So I'm sure that Lu the Lucia Harris, the first and only woman officially drafted by an NBA team, <laughs> experienced a whole lot of that. Playing against her brothers and playing against guys in the neighborhood. Anyway, uh, she was nicknamed Lucy Harris, also scored the first points, I told you, in the Olympics. And she was at six foot three, drafted by the New Orleans Jazz in the seventh round, though, you guys. But that was before Ann Myers, right? Or was during a time, oh, yeah, there was uh, Ann Myers around this time. 
So Ann Myers must have came after her. Nancy Lieberman. And if they didn't, they certainly weren't wasn't drafted into the NBA. Uh, anyway, she turned it down to start a family, later saying that she thought that was a publicity stunt. She married her childhood sweetheart, George Stewart, in 1977. I mean, they had four children, twins, Crystal and Christina, and sons, Eddie and Christopher. She briefly played in the Houston Angels for Women Professional Basketball League uh, in 1979 through 1980. And spent much of the rest of her life coaching basketball and teaching at schools in Mississippi. She was a baller. Um, one of the latest pictures they have of her, um, she's the subject of a short film. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Um, in 2021 titled The Queen of Basketball. Above... Um, this is actually she's um, in New York City, so I take that back. She did have some, um, uh, I guess, towards the end of her life, she did get her, her accolades, and that that that's a good thing. So um, it said in recent months, Miss Harris brought great joy, including the news of an upcoming wedding of her youngest son. And the outpouring of recognition received by a recent documentary that brought worldwide attention to her story. Exactly. So up until then, she pretty much uh, remained anonymous. Very low key. We didn't know too much about her. She said her mother raised 11 children and cousins in a three-room, 10-roof sharecropper shack. Hmm. She went to school at T.Y. Fleming, a red brick one-story building across the road from the field, and helped out during the cotton season after school. She said, man, that was hard work. Around the edges of the ball are the sharp burrs, and you cut up your cuticles pretty good, picking out the cotton seed. It could get pretty heavy, 60 or 70 pounds, if you stuffed it full, she said, of the sack she carried around her shoulder. Mississippi grew, watched her sister play basketball. Uh, Stewart grew, watched her sister play basketball at Amanda LZ High School in Greenwood, Mississippi. I used to love watching her play, she said, of her sister in an interview with Women's Sports Foundation. She could really handle that ball. And I went to Amanda Elsie High School in Greenwood. We had the same coach, Conway Stewart. That was so often to be able to play for someone who loved the game. Wow. So she was really a good, she was a baller. She's got all the trophies and the accolades and the hardware to prove it. Hmm. That's cute. So with that being said, y'all, I wanted to, again, say rest in power and my condolences to her family. Lucia Harris, she um, passed away. All right, I'll see you in the next video.